Hey there! Welcome back from the break into what is potentially the last installment of Missed Moments this semester. We'll just have to see how next week shakes out. But regardless, I've got some super fun stories planned that I think you're really going to like. So let's just jump right on in. Okay, okay, I get it. The last thing any of you guys want to hear about is our struggling and frankly lost program at Canvas. But look, while CSU football may have had a bit of a disappointing season to say the least, like there always is, there were still a few highlights over the course of the fall, especially when it came to breaking records and earning honors at the individual level. To start things off, kicker Caden Camper now holds the most field goals made in a single season in Rams history. And sure, while he got a bunch of opportunities because of a lack of red zone offense from the rest of the squad around him, it was still great to see the junior reach this milestone, especially after a shaky start to the season which included several missed field goal attempts that honestly cost his team a game or two. With that in mind, it's easy to see that even with a handful of stars on this squad finishing out their college careers this past weekend, at least Ram fans won't have to worry about filling the kicker position for at least another year amidst all of this turnover. And now moving on to some more guys who may end up having a future outside of CSU football and the pros, punter Ryan Stonehouse reached some major marks throughout this season as well. Now anyone who has seen Stoney punt knows that he's really good. Like, really good. And not only does he boot bombs on a game-by-game -game basis, but when you look at the stats, he's actually established himself as the best NCAA punter of all time at least when it comes to his average per kick. Crazy, right? The senior leader averaged 50.9 yards per punt this season to break the school record, one in which he already owned, I might add. And he averaged 47.8 yards per punt over his four-year career as a Ram, which breaks the all-time mark previously held by John Haggerty from Western Kentucky. Needless to say, while CSU fans might not have a lot to look forward to in the future, at least as long as Adazio is around. At least I got to witness two of the top specialists in the nation, as well as a monster on offense, in John Mackey finalist Trey McBride in what was his final season in a CSU uniform. He'll be a high draft pick and will do great in the pros. And with all of that in mind, all of us here at CTV Sports wish these football seniors the absolute best as they start their next chapter in life in near future. And obviously, CSU fans hope that maybe a new coach is in the future as well. But moving on from the college ranks, now let's move on to some high school action. A team in Riverside, California is defying all odds and continues to show everyone that a few setbacks aren't going to hold them down from dominating on the field. And sure, an undefeated record is already impressive enough, but what if I told you that this team has done it with only 23 players? Even more impressive, right? And it doesn't stop there. Not only does this squad only have 23 athletes, but all 23 of them are deaf. Now all of that combined makes it seem almost impossible for things to function successfully and go right. But well, not for the Cubs. For the first time in nearly 60 years, the California School for the Deaf could see their varsity football team take home a state championship. And while this group may not be able to hear calls or whistles on the field from players, refs, and most importantly, their own coaches, they can still communicate through hand signals and body language to, to call plays. Sure, the school have found a lot of success in the past, but this season not only brought these high schoolers a lot of victory and excitement, but also allowed them to stand for a major win for deaf schools everywhere due to their success. A mom of a, a, mom on the, of a member of the team said this on their impact on how her son is having a greater impact on the hard of hearing community. Quote, it'll be history for the deaf schools. I now want the championship for them and for them to do well and prove that they can do well in life. End quote. And okay, okay. I've been playing things up as if they haven't played the game yet. But unfortunately for the Cubs and their families, they fell just short of breaking this barrier in the title in the championship game on Saturday, falling to Faith Baptist 74-22. to Still though, a 12-1 record is impressive for anyone much less a team that lacks what most believe is a crucial asset to football, vocal communication. And while the season may not have ended how everyone would have liked in a storybook ending, this squad definitely continues to defy the odds and inspire so many across the nation, hearing or not, showing everyone that a little setback isn't an excuse. And hey, that lesson is what sports are all about, right? 
And on that note, Ram fans, those are all the missed moments I've got for you this week. And if this is the last one of the semester, it's been a pleasure. But don't go anywhere just yet, because after the break, we'll be back for a spicy and extended edition of Hot or Not. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>